I've done a lot of thinking about what uh, psychic experiences mean, and I think there is substantial evidence that these things are real, a lot of uh, scientific evidence even for the reality of psychic experiences. My own way of interpreting psychic experiences ties in with the near-death experience because I believe, for example, that a person who has what is called a precognitive experience, meaning that they get a glimpse in the present of an event that hasn't yet occurred, seeing into the future, in other words, that this precognitive experience means that the experience of time has changed so that now, so that what's happening to this person is that the future event is experienced in the present moment. See what I'm saying? And that very experience of it all being now, of past, present, and future, all simultaneously existing now, is a, a characteristic of many people's near-death experiences. So uh, the near-death experience and psychic experiences both involve a profound change in the way a person experiences space and time. And therefore, it's not surprising that, that when people come back from the near-death experience, they may, after that encounter, um, be prone to having psychic experiences. Because that different way of experiencing space and time is still with them, to an extent.